deworming saltwater aquarium fish. There are primarily two external worms which afflict marine aquarium fish, flukes and turbellarians, aka black gick. Flukes can be very difficult to see on a fish as they are translucent in salt water. They are primarily visible on dark colored fish as you see here on this black clownfish and a close up photo of flukes on a purple royal grama. Therefore, it is important to observe for behavioral signs of flukes on a fish. These behavioral symptoms include clamped fins, faded coloration, heavy breathing, scratching, head twitching, yawning, and cloudy eyes if flukes have reached the eyes. With scratching, it is important to note whether the fish is targeting the gills or the body when it scratches, because oftentimes this will tell you whether you are dealing with gill or skin flukes. A five minute freshwater dip can be used as a diagnostic tool to check for skin flukes. Within two to three minutes, flukes will turn opaque and start dropping off the fish settling to the bottom of the dip container. It is best to use a black or dark colored bucket when doing a freshwater dip to make flukes easier to see. I will post a link in the comment section which explains exactly how to perform a freshwater dip. As you can see from the photo, dead flukes in freshwater resembles white sesame seeds. The flukes you see may not be as numerous as what is shown here, and gill flukes are much smaller and harder to see than skin flukes. Flukes in the eyes, as shown below, must be treated with a freshwater dip before using any medications. This is because most chemical treatments will cause flukes to spasm before dropping off, and flukes trembling inside of a fish's eye can cause permanent damage. Any fish can get flukes, but angelfish tangs and wrasses seem most susceptible. So-called black ick is a worm infestation which is not related to cryptocarrion, aka marine ick. As such, copper and other treatments commonly used to treat marine ick are ineffective against tulibularians. A freshwater dip is primarily only useful for temporary relief and confirmation of flukes. Therefore, a chemical treatment is required in most cases to completely eliminate the worms. The most commonly used dewormer is praziquantel. It will treat both flukes and black ick. Praziquantel is found in the following fish medications. Prazipro, API General Cure, and Fritz Paracleanse. With Prazi, dose once, wait about a week, do a 20 to 25% water change, and then repeat dosage. The reason for the second dose is to eradicate the next generation of worms before they can lay eggs of their own. Because while Prazi does kill worms, it doesn't eliminate any eggs they might leave behind. I will also post a link in the comments section to a treatment calendar you can use to determine when is the best time to add the second dose. The treatment calendar takes salinity and water temperature into consideration. Fenbenderzol is an excellent dewormer, however it must be applied as a 12-hour bath treatment outside of the quarantine tank. It is also advisable to transfer the fish into a new quarantine tank following each bath and just like with Praziquantrel, two baths are required. More information about Fenbenderzol in the comments section. Before I continue, I'd like to talk a little about DMSO. This is a solvent which is useful to help dissolve powder medications which are not easily water soluble. Both Praziquantel and Fenbenderzol fit the bill. You can buy DMSO at Tractor Supply in the Horse Products section. I will post a link with videos on how to use DMSO to dissolve medications in the comments section. Hyposalinity is a non-chemical treatment option for eliminating flukes although it is less effective against black ick. Maintaining 15 parts per thousand or 1.011 SG for one week will eliminate flukes. In some rare cases, 35 days in hyposalinity may be required. Some find hyposalinity to be challenging because if the salinity creeps up, the treatment can fail. Therefore, using a perfectly calibrated refractometer and making use of an auto top-off unit are highly recommended. It is also important to monitor your pH while performing hyposalinity and raise it as needed. Formalin may be used to eliminate both flukes and black ick. 
you would do two 45-minute formalin baths spaced five to seven days apart. Following each bath, I recommend transferring the fish into a new quarantine tank to prevent reinfection. It's very important to only use proper formalin, which is a formulation of 37% formaldehyde and 14 to 15% methanol. I'll post a link um, in the comment section. It is easily sourced off Amazon. The dosage you want to use is 150 parts per million, which works out to be 0.6 milliliters per gallon or 12 drops per gallon when using formalin. I also feel the need to point out that formalin is a known carcinogen or cancer-causing agent, so please use a face mask and rubber gloves whenever handling it. Hydrogen peroxide is an experimental treatment for eliminating flukes in black ick. You can use 3% USP grade hydrogen peroxide, which is easily found at any drugstore or even Walmart. The same basic procedures apply as when using fenbendazole or formalin. The bath is a 30 minute bath at 150 parts per million. You would do a second bath in five to seven days. Following each bath, it is recommended to transfer the fish into a new quarantine tank and dosage is a 20 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide per one gallon of salt water. I will post a link in the comments section outlining a more detailed explanation of how to use hydrogen peroxide. Thank you for watching this video. See links in the comments section for more detailed information and join us on my forum for all reef aquarium related discussion.